Hey everybody, my name is Mike Phillips and today I'm going to show you how to take a really cool Mars uh, feature map of all the albedo markings with names and import it into WinJupos so that you can actually tell what the names of some of the features are as you're observing or uh, imaging Mars this opposition. So what I have done was to match the proper projection and um, latitude, longitude, I guess, of the WinJupos standard images. So what I'm going to first show you how to do is how to save it uh, from the link uh, that's in the description here. So if you click on the image itself and then go down here to the um, options button down here, okay, what you're going to see is a download full size. So you go ahead and hit that and what it's going to do is download that for you to probably your downloads folder or what have you. The next thing you want to do is to start up WinJupos. Okay, uh, on Windows it'll be a little different than what I'm showing you here on Linux with Wine. But um, there's probably some basic functions that I uh, won't remember that I've done already for this. But essentially what you want to do initially is at least go to Program, Celestial Body, and then pick Mars. Okay then go to tools and press the first one here which is ephemerids and what you're going to see is an initial window and your date and time might vary from what i have here this is an observation that i'll show in the comparison later on um, but what i think you're looking at is um, you may actually in fact just see this okay so there's some options over here on this side on the left-hand side that you're going to want to fool around with over here. Okay. And namely, what you want to at least have is the texturing on and potentially the shading. Shading just gives it a more natural look. Now, this is the Viking data, I believe. Okay, once you get it to that point here by fooling around with these options here. And then what you want to do to import the labeled picture that we saved was to go to Options. Uh, and uh, that's the last tab up here. Um, if you didn't find that, that first screen there, sorry, that was under graphics. So there's a bunch of tabs here. So graphics is what shows you the simulation for the date and time that you're looking at. And I can go ahead and hit, hit real time there and it shows you uh, today's January 17th, 2012. So then we're going to go back to options here. And then about towards the bottom here, it's uh, under texturing. There's a little ellipsis at the end here, so you're going to browse to your downloads folder. I happen to put mine in the same subfolder, which is in Programs Files, WinJupos, underscore textures. Um, so you can co-locate those with File Manager. So go ahead and pick this one. I called it Mars-Overlay when I um, imported it in. And then when you go back to graphics, you're going to see effectively the same view that you had before with the date and the time, but with a different uh, projection from the map perspective. So you can fool around with this and you'll see that the same features are in the same locations, uh, but what you have now is actually labels on top of everything. So anyway, that's uh, my quick tutorial. I hope you find it helpful and good luck. Happy Mars observing.